and welcome to your second half of September 2018 love reading. This is a general reading. Your sun, moon, rising, Taurus. If you'd like a personal reading that resonates with you more, if this one does not resonate with you, I suggest asking me for a private reading. You can go to shaysee.com, that's S-H-A-S-I-E.com, and request a personal reading. I have several options there for you, which are just awesome. Okay, you can select specific cards if you like, or you can ask for a combination. Um, you can ask for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Check the different options on my website. If your option isn't listed that you would like, send me an email, and I would be happy to see if I could um, honor your request. You can send an email to shaysee.tarot at outlook.com. That's S H A S I E tarot at outlook.com please like subscribe and share click the bell if you would like to receive notifications click the thumbs up button if you would I'd really appreciate it and any donations are obviously very very I'm very happy to receive now Shay C tarot came about while I'm shuffling your cards I'll just tell you a little bit about Shay C tarot Shay C tarot I came up with the name because my daughters have inspired me to finally um, do my tarot channel um, and my daughter's names are Shayla and Sienna so I took the first three letters from each one of my daughter's name SHA from Shayla and SIE from Sienna and I am an intuitive empath and I have been guided to do this for about the last year and a half two years when I went through something in my life and my daughters are my inspiration to finally follow through with my passion of tarot card reading which I have loved since I was a teenager and here I am so let's get started Taurus this is your general love reading for the second half of September 2018 spirit what do you have for Taurus Taurus September 2018 what do you have for Taurus September 2018 Taurus September 2018 Jumping out the moon. I'll explain your cards in a moment. I'm going to keep shuffling and get your next card. What do you have for love for Taurus, September 2018? September 2018 for Taurus, please, Spirit. What can you tell Taurus? What can you tell Taurus? Taurus, Spirit, what can you tell Taurus? What can you tell Taurus for September 2018 and love? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to get started there. Okay, Taurus, we have the moon, the six of wands, and the ace of swords. Okay, so the moon speaks of unforeseen problems. Um, perhaps you've been having dreams or some disappointments. Um, now this is Pisces, it's water energy, okay? Um, perhaps there's been some problems in your life that you weren't expecting. Um, you can see it's kind of a little bit dark. It also speaks sometimes of a third party situation, okay? It can. Uh, it could, could represent a third party, um, disappointment, some perhaps uh, confinement, um, feeling stuck, um, not knowing which way to go. If it's a third party situation, it could be very, very stressful and um, you would know how that resonates with you if you're in a third party situation could have a Pisces involved could have a Scorpio involved um, it could be any Sun sign okay now the six of wands this is victory so you have victory in something now whether that be this relationship perhaps the third party is is gone it, it's diminished Okay, and now you have victory with the Six of Wands. Um, the Six of Wands is, you know, it's good news. So perhaps the good news is that the third party relationship, if that's what it is, is finished or the end of um, the disappointment. 
the end of some problems perhaps because now you have the victory okay this is looking forward from whatever it was or it could be that you've decided to leave a third party um, a third party situation and move forward or you're traveling forward after going through a third party situation because here you have the ace of swords and the ace of swords is it's making a decision, okay? Um, mental clarity and new beginning. So you could have gotten rid of the third party situation. You're looking forward in traveling, victory, and um, you've made a decision, Taurus, on a new beginning. Um, it could be even a new, new job, okay? It's making decision and having mental clarity. Let's clarify for Taurus. What else can you tell us for love for Taurus spirit? Any decisions that have been made in love for Taurus? Any decisions that have been made in love for Taurus spirit for second half of September 2018? Second half of September 2018. The other two cards that fell out for you, Taurus, is temperance. Now, temperance speaks of having balance, some harmony, some patience, okay? Your your angels are guiding you. It could be reconciliation. Take it how it resonates. Ten of Swords. So someone's experienced some great pain here, okay? But... 10 speaks of an end of a cycle as well. Burden, too many responsibilities. You could be exhausted, okay? Um, it's, it's basically, it's, it's, it's a painful ending, you know, emotionally. It can be very, very painful ending. You've made a decision. Your decision was to move forward, okay? victory though and uh, it's a new beginning and you're having patience perhaps after a long and painful um, experience please clarify the ten of swords for Taurus please please clarify the ten of swords for Taurus in love for September 2018 spirit Can you tell me about the ten of swords for Taurus been clarified with the two of swords making decision okay balancing two things at the same time looks like you've had to really make some tough decisions you've had to have some patience okay could be whether to go for for a new job um, I don't see love here yet. I see mostly making a decision of some sort, whether it's love or career. It could be love or career. This card just fell out. Wow, look, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune just fell out for you, okay? That's awesome. That means there's a turn of events, good fortune, okay? It's a turning point, a change. You're following your intuition. Okay, there's new hope in a relationship has been tested perhaps. Mm -hmm. It's good fortune. The wheel has turned, probably in your favor. By the looks of this victory card, you've had mental clarity. You've made a decision. You've had patience after a long, painful period. Of, wow, they're just jumping out. King of Cups. King of Cups, Libra, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Taurus, or a Libra. Okay. This is a warm-hearted person. A great parent. They're understanding. They're emotional. Could be a new relationship with a Scorpio. Please clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Spirit. 
Please clarify the King of Cups for Taurus. Second half, September 2018 in love. Wow. Okay, wow, here we go. You have the Hangman Taurus and the Eight of Swords. So the Hangman is you've had to perhaps made some sacrifices. You've been waiting. You've been having the patience. Okay. You've been enlightened and you're in the middle of transitioning. But you felt you've been feeling bound. You've been feeling bound by whatever it is you've you've could be this third party situation if you're already married or have a significant partner. You're feeling bound. But you've had the mental clarity, you're making decisions, you're thinking about things, you're thinking about a Scorpio. There's a turn of events. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Taurus. Second half September 2018 in love. Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Can you tell us about the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit, for Taurus? The Hermit. Or you could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay. Self-exploration. You're on a quest for personal truth. You're going within. You're taking the time. You're going within. You're trying to find clarity. You're making decisions. So you're really taking your time in whatever decision you're making, whether it be a new career but this is a love reading. I hope this resonates with you. I'm going to pull a romance angel for you now. It's also by Doreen Virtue. This one I have others by Doreen Virtue. I will try and pull. Don't want to make your reading too long for you. Can you tell me spirit for love? Oh, that one jumped out right there. I didn't even get to finish. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. You've been manifesting, Taurus. You've been working hard at making decisions and having patience. This is your victory card. Travel. Being victorious. You're succeeding. Your wheel of fortune is changing and you're calling in your soulmate. You're manifesting. You're manifesting your soulmate. One more card here, the Romance Angels, for Taurus, please, love, second half September 2018, Spirit. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. You're taking a break. You're going within. You're in hermit mode. Okay, one more card. We're going to pull from the Angel Oracle deck. What messages do you have, Spirit Angels, for Taurus and love? What messages do you have for Taurus, second half September 2018? Taurus, September 2018. What messages do you have for Taurus? Hello from heaven, Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. You have a loved one that's passed on. Okay. You're saying that to let go of worries and feel their blessings. They're doing fine. Any other messages for Taurus? September 2018. What other messages do you have for Taurus? Messages for Taurus. Looks like your loved ones are watching over you from heaven. And they're sending you the message to let go of worry. What other messages do you have for Taurus? Leadership. Archangel Gabriel, it is time for you to assume your leadership power and position. Lovingly guide others. You're a natural born leader. And you are good. We all know Taurus is good at guiding others. I'm leave your reading there. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated somehow with you. 
Um, if it didn't and you would like a personal reading, I'd like to hear from you anyways, no matter what. Um, send me an email. Tarot at Outlook.com. Again, that's S-H-A-S-I-E Tarot at Outlook.com. Or go to Shacy.com, S-H-A-S-I-E dot com and click on Shacy Tarot once you're in there. And you can look at the different options. If you would like to send a donation to my channel to help keep it going, um, we would be thrilled um, for that. You can send that to Tarot at Outlook.com through PayPal. Uh, before I go, I forgot to mention that I have some healing stones here circling your reading, and I wanted to let you know that this is to protect your reading from any negativity. Okay? I felt very strongly about that. And have a great rest of your September. And yeah, click that bell, click the thumbs up, share, subscribe. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much, Taurus. Bye-bye.